Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another ET video. Today I want to introduce ET Dock that's forthcoming in the future. So, as you can see, we've got our ETs docked right now and I'll introduce you to the new product. So here we go, this is ET Dock. Okay, let's talk about how it looks. So ET Dock is very stylish, very smart. It's got a nice matte finish on it. And also it just displays your controllers in such a nice way that I think it's gonna look good in your VR play space. So I'll give you a little 360 of the product so you can see it from all angles. Here we go, we've got the ET controller dongle in the back here, which I'll talk about more a bit later on. So there we go. So other advantages of ET dock are, so there's you, another- so You need to plug it in? Oh, I forgot to do that, didn't I? All right, um, yes, let's plug it in like I should have done at the beginning of the video. So let's give it some power. It's just in the back here, USB-C. If we plug it in, you should see the LEDs coming on. So what this is telling you is that right now the dock is charging both controllers and also the trackers at the same time. The dock itself also has LEDs, not just controllers. So if I lean it forward here and I take one of these controllers off, you can see there's an LED light on the dock that comes on and that's to let you know that nothing's coupled right now. But when you do plug it in properly, the LED light goes off, which is the current status of the left DD controller. And what that means is that you've coupled it correctly. So it gives you feedback on whether or not you've actually put the controllers on properly. Okay, so let's remove this one. Now, while we're here, let's talk about the number of USB ports that it uses, okay? So, as a VR enthusiast, USB ports are like gold dust, okay? We all have so many devices in the VR ecosystem that we need to reduce the number of USB ports that we use. And that's one big value point of this dock. So at the moment, you need one USB to charge a controller. So that's two USB ports. And also, ET controller requires ET controller dongle, which talks to our driver and Steam VR. This also takes up a USB port on your machine, okay? But the dock has a USB port specifically for the dongle. So you can just literally put that onto here and put on your controllers, like so. And you are now using the whole of the ET controller ecosystem with one USB port, which I think is just great value. So as you can see, ET Dock is a stylish addition to our ecosystem. If you're interested in the dock, please do register your interest in the link on the video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.